I am deep in this big smile with you. Yes, fantastic, fantastic day today. The 20th, you know, back a few days. If we go look back, we had a fantastic announcement from Sony. So we're gonna be having a look at that now, a few jokes on that. And we're gonna be taking a look at a free demo of Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter Ultimate for the 3DS right here. It's right here, it's all free waiting for us. Is it Mario, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, but now the big news of Sony, exactly. Sony had a great time, I'm sure they're all celebrating now because they made a major, major announcement about the PlayStation 4 in New York. And it was big. I was very impressed. You know, the, some of the new games they showed, even the older games that they showed, you know, the fact how you can connect you know, all the different PlayStation 4 users together. If I have a problem with a game, I can maybe talk to you guys, you can maybe play my game for me. It is awesome. It sounds like it's all going to be really connected. It sounds great. I have no doubt that Nintendo and Microsoft were sitting in the offices like this. <laughs> oh my god, please, no, Sony, stop it with the news, Sony, stop it, what are we gonna do? <laughs> you know, Microsoft, they should even be more worried because Nintendo, they already have the console out. You know, they can't change anything, but Microsoft really needs to get thinking now. How are they gonna top it off? How are they gonna top this major, major Sony announcement? And it's gonna be hard because that was a big, awesome announcement. Right, right, okay, so more on this news. Nintendo, I'm sure they also said, well, yeah, okay, you know what, Sony? You, you guys are gonna probably steal the whole console market from us, but we still have the handheld market because you know why? The, the Vita does not sell. The Vita does not sell. <laughs> or maybe it will sell once the PlayStation 4 comes out. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, also, Major Nelson tweeted, yeah, Sony's announcement did not show the PlayStation 4. Come on, Major Nelson, give them a break. They had a fantastic announcement. The only, why, the only reason why you want to see the PlayStation 4 is because you want to steal the idea. I'm sure Microsoft is sitting in the office saying, okay, 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 yeah, with a notepad. Okay, so they have all this social media going on. Yeah, we're going to do that too now. Oh, they have a share button, share button, of course, a share button. How could we not think of that? They're going to connect it with Facebook. We're going to go further. We're going to connect our stuff with, with Twitter as well. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. And now, let's see the concept because we want to steal those ideas too, you know? <laughs> I'm sure that's what they all do, you know. Nintendo brings stuff out and all the others are sort of grabbing the ideas all together. That's how the business works. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's look at some other news. Gears of War Judgment was in the news. Are you guys going to get this game? I think it comes out like next month. I think the Gears of War series has gone a little stale, so I'm not probably not going to get it. But still, the art director of Chris Penner was in the news and he said, female lead, female characters as the lead characters in a video game, it's a good idea, but you know, I don't see it happening in a Gears of War game because it's probably gonna impact negatively on our sales. Okay, Chris Pelner, now let's have a look at your female character, Anya, in your Gears of War series. Now, she's female, but at the same time, she has way too many male features, and she's very masculine, she's not cute, so yes, a female character like that will impact probably negatively on your sales. If you want to go with a female lead character, this is what you need. These are the main, main features. Fine ass, cute face, badass attitude. That's what you need. Here's a few examples of some awesome, awesome characters. You implement any of them in your game, it will sell. Trust me, I'll be the first to buy it. Because I love babes. I love babes, man. Come on. Mario and Luigi Dream Team is in the news. Yes. Mario and Luigi Dream Team, you know, it was announced recently. You gotta click on Luigi's face. It's all going with the whole theme of it's Luigi's year this year with Nintendo. So, we ask the question, you know, why is it called Mario and Luigi if one of the main characters is actually Luigi because you click on his face? We asked Mario, and Mario gave us an answer, and this was his answer. Hi, my me, a DB. Don't make your bitch slap you, come on. I'm the main character. I'm the man right here. Hi, my me, a DB. <laughs> that was the worst Mario impression. I'm sorry, guys. I just needed some more nails, so I just used that. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, let's jump on Monster Hunter Ultimate for 3DS. Now, uh, on the, in the other Monster Hunter games, on the PSP, I believe it was, well, definitely on the Wii one, you could swim. Here, so far, I could not swim. So here are some monsters, or I call them dinosaurs. Let's check it out. Let's cut them up, because, you know, that's what we do in video games. For no reason, just start cutting up all kinds of creatures that did nothing to you. Like in Mario games, you just start killing all the Goombas for some reason. Uh, yeah, so here we go. We cut them up. Now let's put away our weapons and let's get a few items. And this is the, one of the things about Monster Hunter. You cut up monsters and dragons 
and you get valuable things from them. Things that you can build weapons from, armor, medicine, all kinds of stuff. You can sell that stuff. And that's really the core basics of Monster Hunter, you know, that's you hunt monsters, get items, and use those items for all kinds of stuff. One of the problems I have have with Monster Hunter is that um, the story was always weak here. So there was I was never really driven to keep on playing the game because I was never too interested what would happen. It was all about level up your character to get new items. New items, new items. The whole game is about new items, you know? And I'm like, well, I don't care about... I'm pretty fine with my items. I want there to be some sort of a story as well. And that's just not something that... The other Monster Hunter games had. Hopefully this one will have it. The other thing that I found a little annoying with the Monster Hunter games is the fact that there's no uh, lock-on feature. Because all the time you have to switch the camera and then quickly jump on the attack button and then switch the camera, jump on the attack button, you know. And some of these monsters are pretty quick, you know, they escape, they start running around. So it would help if there was a lock-on feature. I always thought so, but... When I did speak to some hardcore Monster Hunter fans, they said no, there's no need for that because, you know, the, it just, if there's no lock-on feature, it just lets you be more skillful. And I kind of see their point of view, so if they're happy with it, I mean, I'm like, fine. Here is the guy that we're actually hunting. So now that we found him, let's try and cut him up. And he's pretty tough. I mean, he's some sort of a rabbit, a bunny, that's, see, he's, a, he's basically a monster bunny. <laughs> He, and he's hard to kill. He's not one of those cute monster bunnies. So yeah, I mean, basically, from what I got in this demo, it, it does feel extremely similar to all the other Monster Hunter games that I played, and it doesn't feel any new. So if you did not like the other Monster Hunter games, you probably won't like this one. But let me know what you thought. I mean, did you did you, did you think it was good? You see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, if, if it had a lock-on feature right now, it would actually be a lot more simpler to play. Oh, look at that, now he catches me to this thing. What the hell is this, man? I'm, I'm some sort of a snowball. Yeah, I'm a snowball. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not going to beat this guy now, but never mind. Honestly, I'm, I'm not thinking of getting it. I'm, I'm not impressed enough. But yeah, I am interested in your uh, thoughts. Please let me know. Okay, okay, that was Monster Hunter Ultimate for the three years. My ideas on it. Did you guys download it? Let me know. Also, let's talk about the Sony announcement in the comments. Please tell me, what do you guys think? Honestly, I am gonna get the PlayStation 4. It sounds amazing. I really love the idea of connecting it all together. I love it. If you guys didn't see the PlayStation 4 announcement, please check it out because it's, it does sound fantastic. It does sound very good. But yeah, let me know, guys. I'm sure there's lots of Nintendo fans here, Microsoft fans. Are you guys gonna get it? What do you think? You know, take a few jabs at it. You know, tell me what do you think and where could it be better? Anyway, we'll talk later. Bye!